What's up guys, it's Lee and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to cover five of the must have accessories for the Sony a6700. And if you're a video creator, aspiring videographer or a hybrid photographer, then these are definitely some accessories that you're going to want to pick up. And I will have a separate video that you can watch by clicking up here or down below in the description if you are primarily a photographer. Now, keep watching this video until the very end because I think you're gonna really like the last accessory that I'm gonna share with you. Now, just jumping right into the video, the first accessory that I think is a must have and a no brainer is the small rig cage. The full cage provides you with plenty of protection for your a6700. It has tons of mounting points in order to attach other accessories. And it also has a cold shoe mount as well. And not only does it have really great build quality, it also feels very comfortable in the hand as well. And one of the things that I really like about this cage is the fact that there is a cable clamp that protects your mini HMI port from becoming damaged. And even though I haven't had one be damaged yet, it just gives me an extra peace of mind. Now, if you are the type of creator or videographer that is always on the move, setting up in several spaces around your house or out and about, Having an integrated Arca Swiss plate makes this a breeze as well to just slap onto a tripod and just keep moving. So not to mention the fact that, you know, if you have gimbals and you use them pretty often, there's also dedicated mounting points for those on the very bottom of this cage. Next up, we have the Rode Video Mic Go 2. And this compact and lightweight microphone, it's really a game changer for capturing crystal clear audio. And its plug and play design makes it incredibly user friendly. And it also makes setting up, you know, shoots for video really quick and easy as well, because sometimes, you know, setting up for videos can just be a real pain in the you know what. One of the other things that I like about this Rode Wireless Go 2 is the fact that it does come with two mics and one transmitter. It also comes with a couple dead cats as well. So if you're shooting outside, it can really help to cut down on that wind noise. And then you also have the option of just recording straight to the transmitter because once you turn it on, it's always recording. You can either do that and download it from the Rode app on your computer before you you know, do your video and just sync it in post or it comes with a cord that you can actually plug in and it goes right directly into your camera. That way you do not have to worry about syncing your audio in post as well. So that's also something else that's great about it. Now next we have the small rig mini side handle. Now this accessory, it's not just about comfort, it's also about control. And it's, I would say it's probably mostly about control, but it gives you better grip and it adds stability to your video shots. And I found this incredibly useful and helpful for my B-roll shots as well. And even though I know a gimbal would give me better results, I'm really just trying to stick to this handle um, for as long as possible because obviously gimbals, they cost. <laughs> Plus it's customizable as well. And it also has some additional mounting points as well, which will help you to continue to rig out your A6700. Next, we're gonna talk about SD cards because when I first got this camera, I wasn't 100% sure what the best SD cards were, um, just because I'm mainly a photographer. So I thought it was really important to just kind of add this in there. So if you want to use this camera to its full potential, and that means shooting 120p 4K video, then you definitely want to record on UHS-2 V90 cards. And you can get away with shooting V60 cards or even V30 cards for some recording settings, not all, but if you really wanna push this camera to the limit, you, you're just gonna have to get the V90 cards. Also, make sure you don't cheap out on getting high capacity cards. I know that V90 cards are expensive, but don't get lower capacity cards. You wanna be able to shoot as long as possible in those higher resolutions. Now, last but not least, we have the Zhiyun Molus G60 Video Light. I really love that it comes in this all-in-one sort of combo kit. Again, it's very small, it's compact, it's really flexible, especially if you're on the go recording. And also, I think it's really helpful when you're cranking out content for YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. And it comes in this really nice kit with several accessories as well. So it has a mini tripod, it has a small dome infuser, Bowen's mount adapter, and it even comes with a mini softbox as well with a grid, which is also really cool. And I would have to say, honestly, what I like about this video like the most though, is the fact that it is virtually silent. I literally don't hear 
anything when I'm editing my videos. Unlike some other video lights that I've used in the past, I just do not hear that fan running. And that is something that I think you cannot beat with this video light in this price range as well. I actually made a full review on this video light as well. So I'll leave that link in the description box below for you to check out later. And by the way, all the accessories that we're talking about today, I have those in the description box below. So you can go and find those pretty quickly and easily and grab your own as well. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you smash the like button and also check out this next video over here. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you the next one.